Alright, so today we're looking at a new rogue called Quick Defragmenter, and it's pretty much an exact clone of HDD Defragmenter. And uh, one thing I found interesting in the installer is that when you run it in Sandboxy, it will try to change its process ID like every half a second. As you can see. Now, I don't know if this is a uh, bug in Sandboxy or if this is designed or what, but it's kind of annoying and it obviously won't work in the sandbox. So let's go ahead and terminate. Alright, let's go ahead and run it. For real. And went ahead and deleted the installer. If we look in Task Manager, we have this uh, random name process here. And the anti-BSOD installer process is gone. So, uh, to trigger the rogue you have to reboot your computer. Alright, so when you boot up, you're, you're uh, greeted with Quick Defragments, or it's going to go ahead and start doing a scan. It's going to find all these problems. I'll go ahead and stop the scan. Analysis pending. I guess I'll go ahead and finish the scan then. Um, the only uh, thing that I've seen different from HDD Defragmenter is the fact that the uh, block message has changed. Instead of saying um, scan hard drive, it'll just say that Windows detected a hard drive problem a hard drive error occurred while starting the application. So that's its way of uh, blocking programs. But you're still able to get around it by, I guess, just trying the uh, application until it lets you run it. So it went ahead and found those 11 errors. They appear to be all the same. I guess it's now 34% of HDD space is unreachable. All right, then. What else we got? Um, this 1532 megabyte thing, I don't know. Alright, so I guess uh, you want to run defragmentation, right? And it'll tell you to boot into safe mode, so... You do that, and you get the uh, fake safe mode thing, you know, it's still the same. Go ahead and stop the scan. And the explore process is still injected, hijacked, whatever. And... You know, your Windows and your program file, or program files folders are switched. Uh, you can't uh, run the shortcut, you know, like regedit. You have to put in the full path. And you can kill the, the uh, explorer process and restart it, which will fix everything, or at least fix the explorer problem. So as you can see... able to get to the Windows folder just fine and see if we can get to a payment page. Let's try help and support first. Alright, here's the support center. Alright. Haven't purchased anything. Alright, and then they start having uh, some pretty defensive uh, frequently asked questions like I didn't purchase any defragmentation software, and I don't know what it is. And it's possible that you have faced a fraud. Please provide us with your first name, last name, last four digits of your credit card email. We'll refund your money. That pretty much says it all. We'll refund your money. With a question mark in there. It's like, maybe. Give me my money back. The software didn't fix anything on my computer. Who are you? What can you say about your company? I have purchased a license. Where can I download and install? How do I buy a software license? Lease, enter, buy now. Okay. So we go back to the home page, and of course we can't download anything. Let's go ahead and try to buy it. So we'll have to get an activation code. Go into the safe browser. Alright, secure payments, and I guess the price went up, because it's now up to seventy nine fifty. Damn. And I'm sure that's just a picture of Verisign. I highly doubt it's actually secure. Oh, it actually is secure. I am impressed. But it's through um, Essential SSL, not Verisign, so it's pretty much a fallacy. 
What is EDS? You gotta put in the number. For now, that is it.